G'day, I'm Jay Burley from IT Guaranteed and I'm going to do a review and configuration guide on Phonolite. There are a couple of hidden options in Phonolite uh, that are important to watch out for, so make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. The first thing you want to do after installing Phonolite is to go into the configuration settings and in the server you want to put in your VoIP server, the IP address, and switch over to the user tab, enter your username, password, your display name, and your phone number. Now while we're here, back on server tab again, right click in the domain realm field and make sure that ignore domain for incoming calls is ticked. That will make sure that when caller ID is displayed on your screen, that you only get the phone number and not the complete computer address. After you've done that, you can pretty much hide the bottom section. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that Phonolite runs on startup of the computer. So to do so, go into options and tick run at system startup. And also, the other thing you want to do is go into display icon and show icon in system tray and hide the icon when the taskbar is minimized. Now, that does two things. Firstly, there's the little icon sitting down, sitting down in the system tray down there. And the other one hide the icon while the taskbar is minimized. If we look down here at phone light and then I minimize that, you'll notice it disappears. So, and it's still sitting in the system tray. Now it doesn't go there by default. It may well be in the little hidden part of the system tray that you've got to click on the little arrow to find. And you probably don't want that. So to get it from there to here, the way to do that is to right click on taskbar settings and go down to select which icons appear in the taskbar and make sure Phonolite VoIP software is switched on. And if you're running Menudex, make sure Menudex is switched on as well. So now they'll appear in the taskbar down here. And if they're not in the right order that you want, you can literally grab it and drag it to where you want it to be. Now, the next thing that you want to set up is the sound device, the microphone that you're going to be using when you are using Phonolite. And I've set mine to the headset and the speakers again I set to the headset. The other thing you want to do is set a ringing device. Now you have a choice between whatever options you have, if you have a headset or speakers, and you can only pick one, you can't both. So that means it'll only ring on one of those things, which I find is a little bit of a deficiency in phone or light. I think it would be beneficial because sometimes I'm out of the room or I'm not at my desk, or sometimes I forget to turn the speakers on and it'd be nice if it could ring on both. So what I do to fix that situation is I set the ring mode within Phonolite to set to the non-default system speaker device. So in that case, my normal default is the headphones. In Phonolite, I set the ringing mode to the speakers. And then what I do is I go into external applications and in external applications, I, I have an external ringing program which comes with Menudex and it's called External Ringer. And if we just open that now, and that is now set to ring. So now what will happen on an incoming call, that will ring on both the speakers and the headphones. Now the next thing you want to do is to set the URL protocol handlers. So you want to make sure that call to is ticked and tell is ticked. Now what this does is that when you have a web page with a phone number in it and you click on the phone number, it will immediately start a call on phone or light. Once again, that is URL protocol handlers. Now they have another purpose as well. And if you're using Menudex to place a call, then 
that's how Menudex places the call. For example, in Menudex, I'll just click on the icon, go up to find my name, and place a call to my home, and my home line will ring. The other advantage of Menudex is Menudex will automatically remember the frequent people that I call, or the most recent people I call, or if I've cut and pasted a phone number, it will immediately dial that number from the clipboard. One brilliant feature of Phone Alight is scaling. Um, I've currently got the scaling set to 72, which um, makes the whole program appear bigger. If I set it back to its default appearance, you can see it's much smaller on the screen. Uh, I happen to like the bigger size with my failing eyesight, so I set it to that. I think more programs should have that feature. You know, that's a really handy feature within this little program. Now, the other things you probably want to set up with Phonolite, if you have your contacts stored in Google, you'll probably want to connect them up. So that's as easy as clicking on Google Contacts, click the little import icon, and it will come up with a little code. Now, all you have to do is click the link here, cut and paste that code into it, and within seconds, your contacts will start to appear down here. The other thing you may want to do is to set up speed dial buttons. And to do that, we go into options and click speed dial. And then we'll have to go and grab a contact from either Google or from the phone book and just drag it up and drop it on the speed dial. And that's how you allocate the speed dial. If you don't want that, you can reset it, it will blank it out. And I don't use the speed dial because I use Menudex, so I'll turn off the speed dial functions there. And the last hidden option that I want to show you is to make sure that Phone or Light window jumps to the front of all the other windows you'll have open when an event happens, such as an incoming call or when you click on a phone number on a website. And to do that, the option is hidden on the toolbar, right click on the toolbar, choose the middle option, which is window automatically to the foreground, make sure that's ticked, and that will automatically jump to the foreground when and everything happens. Now my general impressions of Phone Alight, it's a really good program, there are some very handy features. There are a couple of little niggles with it, such as all of the settings are in an options menu, and once you click them, for example, I'll, I'll click Run System and Start Up, it's disappeared and if I want to set multiple options at once I have to go into each one it disappears each time I change it I think that would be better off in its own little option setup box where you can configure everything you want and then click OK or apply but that's just a, a tiny little thing there are other features in here that I believe are, um, are really good because you can configure phone or light as I have demonstrated now you can configure phone or light how you like it to be configured. For example, if you want to use Google Contacts, you can use them, otherwise you don't have to. If you want to use your phone book in here, you can, or you don't have to. If you want to use it with menu decks and get your contacts from Outlook and have caller ID coming from Outlook as well, you can use menu decks with Phone Alight. It is very versatile. The URL protocol handler doesn't usually come with free VoIP soft phones and it does in the case of phone alight and this is the standout feature in my opinion that hangs it all together phone alight is extremely well supported there is a forum that you can go to and if you've got a problem you just need to ask a question or even add a suggestion for an improved feature or an additional feature so on the whole i think phone alight is an excellent little program and it works brilliantly with many decks.